Hi guys, welcome to this session. I am Raul from Team Cloudy ML, and today we are going to discuss between difference between data scientist, data analyst, and business analyst. Before getting started, uh, just answer this question in the comment section. Uh, the case study done by which university mentioned that data scientist is the best job of the century. I'm sure you must have heard of this. Answer this whether it's Harvard, Oxford, Stanford, and Cambridge. I will answer at the end. So let's start. Like first, data scientist. What is the role of a data scientist in an organization? So data scientist, data analyst, and business analyst, they all work uh, in a coordination. It may happen sometimes you see that a company does not hire data analyst, they hire data scientist. Because a data scientist can also do the job of a data analyst. So it's not necessary that data scientists know all the skills of a data analyst, but analyst role can be done by data scientist because visualization is done by both actually. So the main role of a data scientist is to make models. Uh, like a data scientist gets data and it checks whether data is uh, okay according to the requirement of the organization or not. And if it is it is uh, it's the correct data according to the requirement, it works on the data and creates a model based on which they can predict uh, and solve their business problem. So it makes models for data-driven decisions to look into the future. So that, okay, so that's the role of a data scientist. And uh, let's go to next, like what is the role of a data analyst usually? As I said that data analysts and data scientists, they have some common thing, like they both uh, do visualizations. But the difference is like uh, data scientists may not be working on Tableau, Power BI and Excel tools, like which is the which is used mostly by data analysts. Because uh, Python is a language like which is very common for data analysts also and data scientists also. So a data scientist can use Python uh, to do that thing. So the main role of data analyst is not building model. Its, it's role is to uh, first check data according to the business requirement. And uh, if, when the data is uh, according to business requirement, it works on the data to get important insights, trends, create reports and send it to the uh, business analyst to uh, to make decisions according to the requirement. So, <clears throat> so now next is business analyst. What is the role of a business analyst? It process and interpret based on the reports sent by data analyst or data scientist, and then it takes decisions uh, according to the requirement of the client, and uh, then. Uh, send report it to its stakeholders. So business analysts uh, also arrange uh, meetings with stakeholders, with the IT team, and it works as like a coordinator between all of them. It's like a, it has a, a huge role because if anything goes wrong, the first uh, person responsible will be business analyst because he might have done some mistake in uh, taking decisions according to the problem. So it the role is really um, um, challenging and uh, very responsible. So let's go to next. Based on the aim, what is the difference? Like data scientist is not concerned with answering any specific queries. I mean, I mean to the stakeholders. Obviously, it's uh, it it answers to the business analyst whether uh, uh, it, whether according to the problem requir requirement uh, the work is being done or not, and it works in a very wide way. So data analyst uh, works on uh, preparing reports, charts according to the business requirement with the, from the data. Now business analyst, uh, it works on the root cause of the business challenges, like what is the problem organization is facing and how it can be solved. So it identifies the business opportunities and makes recommendations, it takes decisions and how to achieve business goals and stay competitive. So. One of the role is data engineering, which is also quite popular. It works also with the coordination with the data analyst, data scientist, and business analyst. Because for example, let's say according to the business requirement, uh, it needs data. And so data engineering works on uh, uh, such data. Uh, sometimes you, uh, data also needs a lot of works to done, like from collecting to storing to analyzing data. Like it also analyzes data actually. 
but it does not analyze like data analysis it analyzes using very uh, heavy tools because sometimes data is very huge so they needs to be done uh, on um, on cloud and at at a big scale using apache spark hadoop hive all these big data and analytics tools so data engineering works on that level uh, it it does etl also it creates data pipelines so data engineering is also quite popular nowadays so sometimes you need to convert raw data into usable information for data scientists and business analysts to interpret so data engineering does all all that task now next is uh, what are the skills you need for data analyst you must be good at uh, one or more programming language languages like uh, python and r for analysis you must be good at uh, databases as you must know at least sql sometimes you need relational uh, non relational databases also so that depends on uh, organization to organization you must be good at tools like excel tableau power bi how to clean data how to visualize it properly one of the most important is communication skills we we usually miss why because you need to communicate with the business analyst to understand the business problem and work accordingly and critical thinking because you must be good at uh, making stories of data so that you can explain it very well so these are the skills for data analyst for business uh, for business analyst uh, oh, one moment yeah for like for data scientist what skill which skills you need like you must be good at uh, understanding uh, machine learning uh, uh skills like uh, about uh, supervised and supervised uh, reinforcement mostly supervised and supervised you must be good at uh, algorithms of machine learning and deep learning also you must be good at processing large data sets how to handle ha- large data sets and build model on it uh visualization of data because without visualization you cannot build model it's very difficult you must be good at mathematics uh you must be good at coding not deeply uh, but up to some level you must be good at uh, statistical analysis uh, you don't need very deep statistic but up to high school is uh, really helpful now for business analyst you must be good at uh, main skills i will say that it's decision making critical thinking negotiation skills problem solving documentation how to present rest is like a statistics and probability so so that you can uh, make decisions be after looking at the reports uh excel also sometimes may need to prepare um that like you, you may need excel sometimes to analyze your data at least like uh, i think as a business analyst you must know at least one tool so these are the skills you must have the main skills for business analyst is last like negotiation critical decision making these things we sometimes ignore but i think uh, like if you are really interested in this into this role uh you will get these things so like i had asked you one quiz in the beginning uh, the case study done by which university we said that data scientist is the best best job of the century the answer is harvard university they had done a study on it and they saw that uh, as we are creating a huge data sets uh, on the internet now so the roles related to data science like one of the data scientists will be the hot job of the century so that's it guys if you uh, like this video please give a thumbs up comment below share this video and subscribe our channel thank you guys